Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, technology video. Uh, last week I showed you that JVC mini DV camcorder. This was one of my first camcorders I got in February of last year. And it's also a JVC. It's older than the other one uh, by about a year. However, it's not a tape based camcorder. It's a hard disk drive, but really quick before I show you some of the features. Uh, the first video I made on this YouTube channel was on this Panasonic palm quarter. And I showed you that uh, the battery that came with it was bad, but I did get this aftermarket battery for $10 on eBay. So I will make another video about that once I am able to test it and see how it performs. Okay. So this is the remote that would come with this battery. You can see it has your zoom. You can turn your effects on and off. You can turn the display for the date. Uh, you can zoom. Uh, you can insert media. This is for the SD card, by the way. Because you can put an SD card on the bottom of the camcorder. Um, you can open up the screen really quick. And right here, you have your data battery button. This is for... Uh, so right here, like the other one, you can put it into manual or auto mode. And in manual mode, you can adjust to make it a widescreen. You can adjust some of the white balance and titlers and faders and all that. And then you got your night mode and then uh, backlight, which is right there. You got S video, which makes you be able to import it in higher quality. You got uh, this switches it from taking a photo or taking a video. Got your light button, your menu button, and your delete button, as well as your reset. This does record in Dolby Digital Stereo, so that's nice. This is, the, this is your power switch. First one is playback. Second one is recording. This is your zoom switch. This is your record button is where your battery goes. Um, behind this first little rubber flap, this is your USB for importing files from the SD card. And you cannot import anything from the hard drive. Once it's recorded on it, you can't get it off, so it's kind of like analog in the types that you can't import it to anything. But yeah, I guess that's a major drawback if you're wanting to record this to make the YouTube videos back in the day. You could not import it because this was one of the first hard uh, drive camcorders of the time. This was made in 2006. There's your AV and then this is your charging. It takes the same one as the mini DV camcorder that I showed you. Uh, this hand strap is actually very nice. Uh, it's adjustable and it's a lot, lot larger than the other one, and it works really well. Here's the front. You get 20 gigabytes of hard drive. You can record for nine hours on the lowest quality setting. Uh, here's your lens cap. There's the lens specifications right there. Did you guys read those? Okay. And really quick. I need to go get the battery from that other camcorder, the mini DV one, because this battery is completely dead. So let me go do that. Let me show you how easy it is to exchange these. So you're just gonna do that and come on the bottom right here. Just attach that one and put the new one on there and put the old one right there. And this remote can work with this camcorder as well. And really quick, I gotta show you the model number. I'm guessing that's pretty important. It is the GZ-MG21U. Right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Uh, first of all, you can hold this down just like the other one. I don't have too much battery left, so let's go ahead and turn it to recording mode. You can hear the hard drive spinning. And it takes a long time to start up. It does that every time, even in playback. Okay, you can see my battery is kind of running low. You can see the time and date right there. This is your anti-shake. This, this, this will go away if you record an SD card. Uh, it's on manual mode. That's how this uh, I'm recording in normal, and then there's how much time I have left. Um, for some reason, this all the remotes I have, even though the remote setting is turned on in the settings, and you can see that this one is charged, it will not work on this camcorder. I think 
the remote sensor in the front right there is broken, but that's okay. Got your zoom switch. You can set it to photo mode. And the photos you can take on this are really bad, so yeah. They're only 640 by 480. Um, let's go into the menu out first. Uh, turn on the auto manual. Uh, this is something that I didn't learn until a few weeks ago, but if you press that, you can go in here and change the white balance, make it look like that. You can have effects, classic film, which just like makes it like a few frames per second, strobe, ooh, very cool. You can adjust your uh, white balance, uh, I think, yeah, that's the auto focus, or manual focus, auto focus is your auto exposure. You can change it to 16 by 9, which does nothing except stretching out the picture. So it'll show the little 16 by 9 there. You can see that is really slimmed out, stretched out on the top. 4 by 3 is how this was intended to shoot. Uh, you can turn on the sun. Oh, whoop, excellent hit. That. Um, whoa, what are you doing? Go back to 4 by 3. Oh, gosh. Okay, now we can. And now that's on backlight. And this is your night mode, which just kind of slows down the shutter speed. Um, let's see. You can go into your menu. I'll just show these really quick. Quality. Got all those. Uh, you can register an event, which is really weird. So you can, like, this is for, like, vacation, holiday. There's, like, a baby. It's really weird. Oh, crap, my battery is going really low. I should probably hurry. Uh, wind cut gain is your camera settings for macro, tele, macro, is your basic settings for like the demo mode, the remote, uh, record media setting, uh, just record on the SD card, hard disk drive, that's what that's for, the state display, uh, so I, I plus display is basically turning off everything on the display, so it's just the picture. You got all those right there. Uh, digital image stabilization. Uh, uh, so I mistakenly said that this had a titler in the beginning of this video. This does not have a titler. Um, okay, you can press that, and we are making a, a sample recording. My battery light is about to flash, so I should probably hurry and press that again to stop. Switch it to playback. And you can see I have 18 pages of all these. These are some old videos that I shot a long time ago. So I'll scroll all the way to the bottom. It's going to take a little while. I made a lot of videos with this. I've been using the normal quality settings, so I've had about nine hours. Ooh, it's taking forever. Okay, 18. And you can pause it, and then you can zoom in when you're paused, and when you're playing, you can adjust the volume using this. Oh, well, so now it stops, so that's the end of that video. Another thing, if you pause it and you press the light button, it'll display the info, the folder, the file, the date it was made, the quality, how long it was recording for, and if you have the protect on, which basically doesn't allow you to delete it. So it's like a erase protection tab on the VHS tape. So there you guys go. Making a, a sample recording. My battery light is about to flash, so I should probably hurry. There you guys go. This also has a 30 tech 2x optical zoom and I think an 800x digital. So that's and it's really bad. Same with any other digital zoom on a camcorder. And the screen is really weird. It just kind of fades away. Like that you can still kind of see it right there so anyway thank you so much for watching this video i make uh technology videos pretty much every week uh, i think next week i'll be showing you a vcr that i got at the thrift store and some vhs tapes so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one